Hi, I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I've been a fan of the show Becker since the summer of 2005, which is why I'm going to review it. Becker stars Ted Danson as Dr. John Becker, the title character. As you can see here, I have the complete collection with me. It was released on June 6, 2017. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I can't take the complete thing out because it would spill all over the place. This box set comes with all of the seasons. 17 discs. It ran from 1998 to 2004. November of 1998 to January of 2004. Here is the sleeve right here. Like I said, it has Dr. John Becker on the front. Here's some writing on the back. It says the doctor is in, which I think is cool. That's a cool tagline. Like I said, I've been a fan of the show since the summer of 2005. It used to come on UPN. As you can see, here are the seasons. I can't take them out because, as I said, it would spill all over the place. There that is right there. Before taping this segment, I tried to get some of the cast members to be in the review with me. If you don't hear from them by the end of this video, it means I wasn't able to get them to be involved. I either reached out to them and they didn't respond, or I reached out to them and they've declined. So if you don't hear from any of the cast members, it's because I was not able to do it. Okay. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Enjoy my review of the TV show Becker. It ran from November of 1998 to January of 2004. Thank you for watching. This is the Michael Myers fanatic back with another TV series review. And as you saw me hold up earlier, the collection to the TV series Becker which ran from 1998 to 2004. Um, it was created by Dave Hackle, David Hackle to be more specific. Um, it ran from, I believe, November 2nd, 1998 to January 28th, 2004. This is what I don't get. First of all, it was a great show, but who the hell ends a show in January? I mean, you would think that they would end it in June or some shit like that. I don't know. But yeah, it ended in January of 2004. You mean to tell me they couldn't squeeze out enough episodes until... June? I mean, I don't know. I'm starting to sound like Becker. I'm ranting all the time, but uh, let me get to the cast real quick. As you can see, it's about a doctor named John Becker. He basically runs this crappy practice in the Bronx, you know, with a crappy doctor's office. Um... He used to live in Boston, but for some reason he came back to New York. I guess he decided he wanted to give back. But then again, they said that uh, his ex-wife left him. So, you know, there you go with that. I first started watching the show 
in the summer of 2005. It might have been July. I know it was definitely before August. Because right when I got into the show, I'd heard about Hurricane Katrina. So that let me know that it was, you know, in the summer of 2005. I had heard of the show, but I'd never paid it any attention. I never knew that he came from Cheers. Uh, Ted Danson does a marvelous job as Dr. John Becker. It says here that he genuinely cares about his friends. And, you know, that's cool and all. Let's get to the cast, as I said here. Uh, let's move on with this. The star of the show, as you can plainly see, Ted Danson as Dr. John Becker, a Harvard Medical School graduate. Okay, um, I don't know how he got from Harvard to running a crappy doctor's office in the Bronx. That literally makes no sense, and then... You have uh, Margaret Wyborn, and she's played by Hattie Winston. Uh, she is a nurse that met Dr. Becker shortly before he opened up the doctor's office. She's married to some guy named Lewis, who you never actually see, which is one of the things I don't like about this show. There's a lot of people that are mentioned that you never actually see. Linda, played by Shawnee Smith, she's a little ditzy and she's kind of slutty, excuse the expression, but um, she's a pretty funny character. I like how she always says, okay, here's the thing. And then she gives you like this ridiculous story. Um, yeah, Linda's pretty cool. She kind of reminds me of a cousin of mine. I won't say who, but, uh, Linda's not playing with a full deck of cards, as you'll plainly see when you go throughout the series. And then we have here, uh, Alex Desert as Jake Malinek. Uh, Jake runs a newsstand. In Reggie's Diner, Reggie is played by um, Terry Farrell. She plays Regina Costas, seasons one through four. Um, her reason for leaving the show is listed here. I don't quite understand it myself. They wanted to do something with what what's his name they wanted to do something with reggie and dr becker but that never quite came to fruition and then we have bob played by severio Guerra, and he was recurring on seasons one and two and then seasons three through five he was a regular and then all of a sudden he just disappeared they never really gave a reason for why Bob disappeared. They just said he went on vacation, you know. Although I guess you could say that was reason enough. They said they said that at the beginning of season six. Uh, he always referred to himself in the third person. He would say, hey, losers, that's right, Bob's back. And so... Uh, you know, that was pretty cool because, you know, he referred to himself in the third person. I like that arrogant thing he had going on. He would always, you know, fuck with Reggie for some reason. I don't know what his thing is with her, but for some reason he just liked to mess with her. I don't know what it is with him and Re Reggie. I think she rejected him in high school. And now he wanted to get back at her. I guess I could understand that. The one thing I find very interesting about this show is that uh, they all had great lives. And then their lives seemed to just disintegrate into next to nothing. I mean, um, 
Jake was doing pretty well for himself. He had a good relationship with his grandmother. And next thing you know, he goes blind. Reggie used to be a model. And then she ends up running her father's crappy diner. Linda, she has rich parents, and yet she lives, well, she lives in a wealthy part of town, but she works in a crappy doctor's office. I mean, the show was very funny. I liked the thing with Bob. That was pretty cool. Another thing I liked is how they all kept saying Reggie couldn't cook. You know, and they would spit out her food and they would say, well, we can't really tell what this is. And so that was pretty cool. Um, then you have Nancy Travis. played. Uh, she plays Christine Connors and she comes in on season four. And then she's a regular for seasons five and six. Uh, I guess they brought her in to replace... Reggie, played by Terry Farrell. Here's the thing, as Linda would say, okay, here's the thing. I don't want to come off as rude. I really don't. I, I have nothing against Nancy Travis as a person. I've never interacted with her. I've never met her. I've never had her on my channel. I've never done anything regarding Nancy Travis. I have nothing against her as a person. I just thought Terry Farrell was a better fit for the show. And again, I don't mean to come off as rude. That's just my honest opinion of it. Terry Farrell was just a better fit. And I honestly wish they could have kept her. Um, and then last but not least, we have... Uh, Jorge Garcia as Hector Lopez, and he's he makes his way in during season six. He's the little brother of one of Jake's childhood friends. Uh, Hector was really annoying. Hector was brought in to replace Bob. They never really explain why Savario Guerra left either. He just left. As quickly as he showed up, he disappeared. They never really explained that. Again, nothing against Jorge Garcia, but Bob was just a better fit. You know, he walks in the diner, this short guy with this greasy gelled up looking hair and he just starts laying into Reggie for whatever reason he would always say that's right losers Bob's back and like I said I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he was getting her back for all the time she blew him off in high school so I can totally understand that you know this is like a revenge of the nerds kind of thing but only less severe they say that he didn't renew his contract for uh, the shortened season six. So for whatever reason, he didn't want to do that. I don't know. But I liked Bob a lot. And they just said here that they shortened season six. I'm guessing they did that because with Bob gone and Terry Farrell gone, they probably figured, well, you know, what the fuck? It's already going downhill anyway. I mean, that's what I would have thought if I were uh, running the show. As far as Terry Farrell's departure goes, I'm just going to leave it here for a second, and you can put it on pause and read it for yourself. Here it is right here. The reason why she left. I'm not going to get into that because it really made no damn sense to me at all. Um, hopefully I can get her on so she can explain why she left. And if you don't hear from her at the end of this video, it means that I couldn't get her. Um, I've reached out to her as of the recording of this video.
I've reached out to the guy that plays Bob as of the recording of this video, as well as Shawnee Smith. None of them have replied. The guy that plays Bob, when I reached out to him on Twitter, all he basically did was he liked my comment. I don't really know what that means. Is that yes? Is that no? I don't know what it means. Uh, Margaret Wyborn, um, played by Hattie Winston. I really liked her comebacks. Like if somebody would say something, she would always turn it back around on them. Like if somebody said something like, um, either this hospital is changed around or I'm really weird. She would wait until you walked away and she would say, you're really weird. Or somebody would say something like, um, people say I'm not playing with a full deck. And then she would wait until they walked away and she would say, I know. You know, I thought she did a good job playing Margaret Wyborn. She has a husband, Lewis, who you never see, like Linda's parents. And for some reason... Becker and Lewis didn't like each other. I would have loved to have seen that rivalry explored, but for whatever reason, they would always talk about people but never show them. I'm going to go ahead and assume that had to do with the budget. That's the only thing I can really think of as to why they would do that, which was really annoying. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assume you guys are done reading about Terry Farrell's departure, which was really sad because, like I said, I had nothing against Nancy Travis. I just like Terry Farrell a lot better. So I, if she's hearing this, I hope she doesn't take it personally. There's nothing against her. Um, The show... does still come on. It comes on Antenna TV. It used to come on, let me see, um, it would come on WG in America. And it did that until 2010. And then from January 2017, it went to Antenna TV. So it's on there now if you want to watch it there. On June 6th, 2017, CBS released the complete collection entitled Becker, the complete series on DVD Region 1. Um, like I said, you just saw me hold up the series. I purchased it. In July of 2018, I've seen every single episode. Like I said, um, it was a lot of fun. I've been a fan of the show since the summer of 2005. There are a few things I didn't like about the show, and I have them listed here. Uh, the first thing, constantly mentioning people that never actually appeared on the show, like Louis Wyborn, Margaret's husband, and Linda's parents. Linda never actually had a last name. Her name was just Linda. And if they were her rich parents, why the hell would she be working at a crappy practice in the Bronx? That literally made no sense. Another thing, a lack of continuity. Throughout the show, Reggie was portrayed as someone who was down on her luck. And suddenly, in the middle of season four, well, the producers decide, or rather, Terry Farrell decides to leave according to this Wikipedia article, and Reggie's luck inexplicably changes, and she suddenly runs off to Europe with her friends. 
So she basically goes from something to nothing back to something again. All right, well, whatever works. Uh, the set to me wasn't properly designed. It always looked outdated and old fashioned. The show was filmed and set between 1998 and 2004, but instead it always looked like it took place between 1988 and 1994. There was just never anything in the show to show us that time was actually moving on. Everything just looked all old. It looked like it was maybe the late 80s to early 90s to me. Um, Bob's sudden disappearance. Just as quickly as he appeared, he disappeared at the end of season five. Like I said, there were things I liked about the show. I like how everyone always made fun of Reggie's cooking. Um, I really wanted Reggie to get together with Becker, but for some reason they they didn't want that to happen. They wanted to do a rivalry between her and Chris. Again, I would have chosen Reggie. Um... That's pretty much it. The show ends with Becker, I mean, with uh, Jake Malinek, played by Alex Desert, telling everybody that he knows what he's going to do with his grandmom's money, and he decides to go to college with it, and he leaves. And he just walks away. And then it shows Becker yelling at some guy on his fire escape. And it's like, that's how you close out the show? I really liked how Becker always ranted on people. And this may sound very negative, but you know what? I'm going to be myself. Becker, the character of John Becker was played so well. And one thing he taught me is no expectations, no disappointments. And this may sound like a terrible thing to say about people, but the one thing Dr. John Becker taught me, people aren't shit. They aren't. They're nothing. And when I say that, I don't mean they're nothing as in they don't have any value. In other words, people are pieces of crap. You know, they're selfish, self-centered. All they care about are themselves. And you really shouldn't rely too much on them. You may say that's negative. It's a negative outlook on things. Is it really? Think about it. Is it really? Who honestly helps people from the goodness of their heart? Nobody. Even the Bible says that people were going to end up being a lover of themselves. People suck. And if you can find a good friend, you should do everything you can to try to keep him or her. Because as far as Gump would say, a good friend or a best friend isn't just isn't something you could find just around the corner. That's the one thing I learned from Becker, man. People suck. You know, they... They have one face that they show to the world, and then there's the real them, who you rarely get to see. But, ladies and gentlemen, anyway, I recommend to you the show Becker. It ran from November of 1998 to January of 2004. I don't know who quits in the middle of or at the end of January which is in the middle of the season but whatever without Terry Farrell it sucked anyway um 
like I said, if you don't hear from those people that I mentioned, it means I couldn't get them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Becker from 1998 to 2004. By the way, I like the episode where uh, Reggie was having a panic attack. And she said that she was having it because she was standing on top of a building in New York and she looked down at all those people down there and she figured that her life meant nothing. And that episode was recorded and took place in 2000. I think May of 2000. And um, I don't know. I'm just into all types of philosophical stuff like that. So I really like that episode. I think that's my favorite episode. Um, I also like the episode where, you know, I like the ones where Dr. Becker is always having dreams, you know, because I'm into dreams and dreams can be weird. I'm just in the weird shit like that. So like I said, I really enjoyed the show. That's why I had to pick up the collection of Becker. I've been a fan since the summer of 2005. I will put the link in the description box if you guys want to order it. Please check out the show Becker starring Ted Danson and Terry Farrell. Terry Farrell left at the end of season four. I don't really understand why, but if you're not hearing her voice, it's because I couldn't get her. I tried to get her on here to explain why she left, but if you're not hearing it, it's because I couldn't make that happen. After she left, she was replaced by Nancy Travis, and Bob left at the end of season five to be replaced by Jorge Garcia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Becker from 1998 to 2004. And then after Becker, Ted Danson would star in the show called Help Me Help You, which only lasted one season. All right, I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. And we have Becker from 1998 to 2004. Thank you very much.